Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new episode of my Collectible Corner series. Now I've moved location where I'm going to be doing these, a little bit of a difference um, in how I sort of promote the episodes and that sort of a thing with the thumbnail, but still every two weeks nonetheless. Um, so let's just get into this Harley Quinn statue that I've got for you today that I'm going to open. Okay, yes, so here we have this rather large Harley Quinn statue. Um, Harley Quinn Deluxe DC Bombshells statue. Um, now, Bombshells is a comic book that um, DC did do for a little while. Um, it's kind of based upon the concept of the art on the side of the um, uh, old World War II American bombers, like the Flying Fortresses, that sort of a thing, where they'd have, you know, images of, of women on the side, painted onto the sides. Um, and it's based from that concept, and like I said, they've done a series with these bombshell characters, so, um, yeah, and it was a series that I collected at the time. Um, and anyway, so, this isn't new, as in, I haven't just bought it, I've had this for a few years, but I've never opened it, I've never displayed it, um, because I've got lots and lots of statues of, of comic book characters and other things like that that I just run out of space. So I have got some that are just still boxed and, and obviously I stopped buying at that point because I can't display them. The room is just an, a big, big issue for it. So here we have, like I said, this DC Bombshell Chash statue. Should we say I'm getting my words muddled up? Um, as you can see, the box at the side. Um, that's the image of the statue, essentially. On the back we have an advert for two other characters, Aquaman. Obviously they did bring the, the, the male characters into the comics. Um, and Vixen there, um, another DC hero. Lesser known DC hero, shall we say. Um, there's part of the image of the statue there. Um, the underside of the box is just like that. Um, limited to 5,000 as you can see. I've got number 2468, 2468, and the top of the box is like so. So, let's get this beauty opened and take a look at it. Alright, so, let me open the top of the box. Um... Now it is unsealed, it is, so it may have been, I think, I don't know if I looked at it or if my missus checked it for damage. She may have bought it for me as a gift. I cannot recall for this one. So let's put it out. Um, best we can. Either that or it was checked in the shop prior to purchasing it. Um, I can't recall now. But I know certainly I haven't had this one out. So as you can see, there is a sort of top and bottom to the box, bottom and top. So let me lay this one down, like so. Um, take off the lid. And we have it in, in components here, um, as you can see inside. So let's take a look at these one by one. I'm gonna place this off to the side and take each bit out. So first off, we have the actual bomb. So, because it's, it's Harley Quinn riding the bomb down, essentially. Um, Doctor Strange on style. Well, she's not sat on it. So this is the base. Um, as you can see, it is hand-numbered on the underside. Um, here's the bomb. Gotham or bust on the side. And same on the other side, like so. Um, this is sort of like... Just air, do you know what I mean? Or it's catching the air coming off of it. Um, I don't know if they are sort of a bit bent out of shape or not, but I don't know. And then you have a, a hand, because that is magnetic, and they sort of attach magnetically, and you've got two holes there. So if I put that down like so, let me just adjust the camera so you can actually see that. Um, so I put that down there like so. Um, next up is Harley Quinn herself. Um, now this isn't plastic, so as you can see, here is your Harley, there's the two foot pegs, 
Um, that's your Harley Quinn statue, like so. With a nice big gun there with a, a cork in the end, yeah. Um, and hanging off the side, as you can see, a little sort of Batman. Um, almost like a sort of plush teddy, one of them sort of, I don't know, key ring things or something that people have. Um, yeah, you see the detail on her face and the hair. Nice. Um, on the back, she has a joker on the back of her jacket. Um, Joker's wild, it says. It's the underside of the boots. Got little pouches on the belt going round her with a little bat logo on the belt there. Um, there's a card in her three-quarter length stockings or tights or socks, whatever you want to call them. I don't know what you'd call them, but yeah, a Joker card. Um, yeah, so that's really nice. A sort of red tint into the hair, as you can see in there. So let's attach her to the rocket. So she attaches in like so, as you can see, and you take the hand with the string or the rope and it attaches in there magnetically, just like so. And then you're left with this wonderful, wonderful statue um, of Harley Quinn. That is a nice size, it really is. I mean, that's, I like that a lot. I mean, you know, why I haven't got this on display, I, I don't know. I may have to have a change up of my of my cupboards and take a look at, at what I can get in there. But there we go. There's Harley Quinn um, on top of this rocket. So if I put her there and I adjust the camera like so, then I get out of the way and you should be able to see it a tad bit better as I spin it around. Back of the rocket there. Cool, cool piece. And I have had this for, I don't know, it's probably been stashed away for about four or five years, um, not opened. Maybe not that long, I can't remember. Yeah, it would have been before COVID. It would have been before COVID, definitely. I um, don't think I bought anything like this during that period of time. So that shows you how long I actually got them. Christ, where did that time go? Um, but there we go. So a nice piece. Um, I might have to look at displaying it. I really might. And this is AJ done for another collectible corner. And I shall see you on the next one. Take care all, and in two weeks' time, I'll be back. See you later. Goodbye.